radio. Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what it is. Your favorite cousin is checking in, young JLC. Miss Shot, Nicky, Shot, 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 where we at, man? That's right, you know what it is. What's the day, Miss Shot, Nicky? Oh, my God. Anonymous Thursday. Hey, man, we're going up all morning long. Are you smarter than Young Jock? If you can prove to be that, you might pick up some cash today. Hey, they dilemma. Y'all know how that go. I ain't got to tell you too much about it, man. You know what I'm saying? We can eliminate your dilemma. You'll walk away $100 richer. And we already know we got to get into the biggest thing happening today and inside that word on the streets news. And I'm telling you, we got a lot of tea to pour this morning. What's good, shout it? You know what it is? The crazy report, man. We ran into Charles Dwight and they asked him, do you still cheat on your wife? You won't believe what he said. It's crazy and it's coming up on the crazy report. Well, please believe and don't forget it is the holidays, Hi. and we got some Young Jock Christmas stacks on the way. When we tell you to call and be calling number nine, you do just that, all right? So make sure you stick around. We're going to have a great show all morning long. You know it's That's up and it's right. stuck. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. What up, Miss Shanika? All right. Well, we got to get into it. The House set for key votes on Biden impeachment inquiry as the Republicans unite behind the investigation. Take this just hours after the president's son, Hunter, defied a congressional subpoena. He offered to testify in public, but not behind closed doors. Republicans allege President Biden may have benefited from his family's foreign business dealings. So far, the year-long House GOP investigation into the Bidens has not led to any direct evidence of wrongdoing by the president. All right. Well, Shadi, I don't really know what this means, but it, oh. it sounds like the House said we want him out of here. Yeah, it's a witch hunt. It's a witch hunt. The Republicans are trying to come in and come up with this stuff. And he might be guilty, but they don't have any hard evidence. So mm -hmm. they just need to let it go and uh, let it run. Well, one thing that uh, Bill Clinton and Donald Trump have been able to prove is that an impeachment means nothing. Nothing. All right. That That's is the biggest thing happening today, and I miss you good. That's right. Make sure you stick around all morning long. We got some money on the line for Hi. you, all right? Keep it right here where you got it, baby. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. I'm your girl, the Bonnie Banks. I'm going to get you around your streets in only 90 seconds. We're going to talk about the Supreme Court as just of yesterday. They're going to consider a restricted access to a widely used abortion drug, even in states where the procedure is still allowed. The justices will hear appeals from the Biden administration and the maker of the drug, Mifepristone. Both groups are asking the high court to reverse an appellate ruling to cut off access to the drug through mail, among other restrictions. The case will be argued next spring. A decision will likely be made by late June 2024. Wow. Now, mefepristone and another drug combined is what is usually used in an abortion procedure. And it's going to alter the landscape nationwide and trigger more than half of the states to either outlaw or severely restrict this procedure. So we'll see how that goes and we'll keep you updated. Now, a federal judge agreed to pass proceedings in former President Trump's January 6th case while he appeals a decision. Former president accuses federal prosecutors of trying to rush his 2020 election subversion case before next year's presidential election. The request may delay the trial beyond its current scheduled start date of March 4th of next year. The former president is facing charges for plotting to overturn the 2020 election after he lost to former Vice President Joe Biden at the time. Trump continues to deny any wrongdoing. Yes, he is denied, denied, denied. He's arguing that the court should dismiss the case because of presidential immunity as well as constitutional grounds, including his First Amendment rights. 
So that is the ongoing thing. And Trump is still battling that case in New York as well. So we're going to keep you updated on that. If you're in Chicago, a new law is going into effect starting in 2024, where individuals must receive up to two weeks of unpaid leave if a family member is killed in a crime of violence. Now, this is one of 150 new laws that are going to affect. Another one is minimum wage, where they're saying non-tipped workers increases to $14 as tipped workers will increase to $8.40. And all residents who own any of 170 assault style weapons banned under the law, you must register them through the state police. So that is some of the new laws that you guys will see in 2024. There's a list of those on the Chicago website. That is Around the Streets in 90 seconds. It's your girl, Bonnie Banks, T-H-E-E, the Bonnie Banks. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shawty, shawty, run it down. Yeah, run it down. What we about to do, man? We had to run down to Charleston White's live. When at, are he, is he still cheating on his wife? This was his response. Oh, uh, baby, somebody want to know, am I still cheating on you? <laughs> you, you hear that number one? Well, we happily married. Stay out of marriage. <laughs> you hear my, my wife laugh like a and I answer that question. Yeah, I'm still cheating. I get out of me. Yeah, yeah, I'm still cheating. Go keep cheating. I'm kind of think I am. I'm going to stop. Wow, that's just like a Negro. They tell my Charleston white. Uh-uh, Charleston black. And that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy number's crazy. That's shout out what my name is with the crazy report. Follow me on all social platforms at shout the comedian. Hi. Now let's get into these national days. Yeah, boy. Y'all know what it is. All right, so we are going crazy this morning because guess what? We got to get into these national days, Miss Shawty. Get shouted. Today is National Free Shipping Day. Hey, is it? Yeah. It's National Alabama Day. Hey, what's up, baby? Well, you know. My wife's in Alabama. Hey. Yeah. So she represents the whole state. Her and her daughter, yes. Her and a lady. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, Alea, uh, girl. Today is More Good Today Day. Okay. Okay, we need some more good. Yeah, definitely. And na- last but not least, today is National Monkey Day. It's you and Shouty Day. Yeah. You're going to be counseled one day for calling us monkey. Okay, what about if I call y'all brown monkey? <laughs> 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 hey, look, man, y'all know we got to get into these celebrity birthdays. It's Sagittarius season. Yes. Happy birthday to that girl, Stefan Dunn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanessa Hudgens. And we can't forget our family. We can't get the, forget the home team, Miss Shani. Who? Offset. Now, look. I hope Cardi call him today and say happy birthday, baby. Cardi, call us up this morning, man. You know the line. Call the uh, call the bat line, Cardi. Yes. Y'all know Cardi uh, be listening to our show every morning. Yes, we, mm-hmm. we said a happy Indeed. birthday. He came to yours. She didn't even know y'all was broke up. You know what? He don't want to <laughs> talk about that right now. stop the old. We trying to get her to call. Well, we love you, Cardi. <laughs> Hey, call us up. Get your name or whoever you love name on the birthday list. one 844 yun That's one 844 Can't wait to hear from you, baby. Keep it locked. Hey, you're jocking the streets morning. Take over. That's right, that's right. It is an anonymous Thursday. You tuned in with some real ones, young job. Miss Shot, nigga, shout out, shout out. Hey, man, we got to get into this, y'all. It's been all over social media. It's mm-hmm. the talk in the break rooms right now. Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green mm. has been suspended indefinitely, indefinitely, mm-hmm. indefinitely by the NBA after he hit Phoenix Suns, uh, Yusuf Nurkic in the face. Mm. Now, I- I'm going to keep it 100. Mm-hmm. The way he did that move, I thought we was looking at a movie <laughs> that had a basketball team on it, that had a wrestler on right. the team. That was like a jujitsu move or something that buddy. I mean, he really was acting like they was on the court, not really inside of an NBA game. It was really crazy. For me, it was what I have always wanted to do 
to people in my career. But the point wow. is, you have a career. Like, you can't just be hitting people like that. He's, he's very violent. On I the, love Draymond, too. He's very violent, been violent. But what does indefinite mean? All right. Well, it means when the, the NBA has suspended a player for amount of games, that that number of games is predicated on him completing a few tasks before he can be allowed to step foot on the NBA hardwood once again. So the suspension will also be carried forward without pay. Wow. Ooh, so Draymond. it's until they say, literally, it could be for a season, it could be for a lifetime, his career could possibly be over. Now, have you seen the memes? Yes. Well, he like the UPS work. <laughs> wow. Oh, they slam my package <laughs> against my door. Yeah, he thought he hit him hard, but they hit him harder. All I know is, man, he got to be stopped. Yeah, man. Well, he is stopped. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what they didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, and I'm not. Let me, let me just say this. I'm not rejoicing in this man's uh, situation, the plight of his whole career. But yo, you gotta stop doing that because it looked like he timed. It looked like he been at the house practicing this move in the mirror, like listening to music, as soon as I'm doing this go out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my man tonight with this one. Pause. Mm-hmm. Miss Shanika, what? what you got coming up, man? I know on my last day at this job. <laughs> The Draymond. A combo. <laughs> so what she do, man? She hit shouted, <laughs> jock, swing, I'm and bunny. Yeah. I'm definitely going to. I'm not hitting Bonnie. I'm pressing I'm charge. definitely hitting Shawty first. Okay, so let's talk wow. about this. Coming up inside the Word on the Streets news, we got to talk about Jonathan Majors. This video has been released. The footage is out, and it just does not look like this man is guilty of anything. So we're going to get back into that. And Meg the Stallion. And party, they go back, back, forth, and forth on social media. I'm gonna give you the breakdown of that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets news in less than two minutes. You're locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Turn off the lights. The mics are on and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Word on the Streets, she be bopping, I need more. Yeah. Word on the Streets, spring and bite like on a moped. Word on the Streets, I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the Streets. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Oh, yeah. Let's get inside this word on the streets news. Now, this man, Jonathan Majors, Mm -hmm. we have known of this story now for about a year. He allegedly assaulted his girlfriend. He's being accused of domestic violence mm-hmm. this man was arrested and this man has lost countless of endorsements and job opportunities yep. because of these charges now recently mm-hmm. video tape has been released of the surveillance uh-huh. of said incident the night that he was arrested uh-huh. and it seems as though this man was running away from this woman <laughs> Wow. At full speed. full speed. Take a listen. Do you really go, Mason? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I would so like sorry. to get to. I would like to get to the point. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, no, no. Do you understand that? Because, because that team to support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. I know. I'm not. I. I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you. <laughs> I'm a great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. The woman that supports me needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them ultimately. Baby. Wow. You can't get blood from a turnip. It, why, why, I mean, it ain't greatness in her It seems that she was plotting on this man All along honey Because she, what is really going He was running Full speed from this woman See, see that's what happened When He, he already knew she was going to click out yep. That's where the whole assault charge came in When he picked her up and tried to throw her In the, in the vehicle mm-hmm. so he could close the door And run away Right. They ran for like 17 city blocks I never <laughs> wow. seen nobody get chased alone. It was like a movie, did you see it? Yeah, and he had just come off of doing that movie The boxing movie so he was in great shape Well she was too because she did not stop She kept up the whole way 
Wow. Wow. You could tell she was going to set him up because he was trying to tell her how to be great. And she was like, I'm sorry I left the house. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, greatness is in, in me. All right. So, party and Meg. They keep going back and forth, Lord. Meg had released a sequilily. <laughs> A soliloquy. 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 That's the ghetto version. Y'all use a shouted word. Of how her ex best friend, Kelsey, wasn't the one who shot her, and some back and forth with Party. Take a listen. I don't have anything bad to say about my ex. I genuinely don't. If I'm not talking about you, why are you talking about me? You say I didn't cheat. So why you thought that boy was for you, man? If it wasn't you, why the hell is you talking to me? That doesn't make sense. And I don't feel like I should have to explain myself, but you know, it, I'm, I'm not that big of a person yet. God ain't finished with me. He's still working. I wow. cannot stand an emotional abuser. And that's what Meg the Stallion is. I- Why taunt the man? Why put that verse out there? You know, automatically it's going to be representative of the relationship that you have with him. Stop playing with that man. May I interject? For those of you who use the word and the terminology gaslighting the wrong way, this is the appropriate moment to use that. When someone knows you're taking shots at them and you sit here and play like, oh, that wasn't for you. You know it was. that She's gaslighting. That's right. Yep. She was being petty and he called her bluff. But what he still has not done is told us exactly why they broke up and what she <laughs> lied about. That I still like. want to know. I'm on line five right now, still waiting. Now, here is what Hardy had to say to her. You watch my interviews in their entirety. I always speak about exactly what happens, exactly how I feel, without even giving too much, because I don't like to dive into too much. But I have no problem taking accountability. That's what it is? Yeah, yeah. Find me an interview where I say no, not once. But I just don't appreciate people throwing rocks and hiding their hand. I was chilling. I was cooling. Nobody asked me nothing. Nobody asked nobody nothing, in fact. And, and throwing rocks and hiding your hand, is just, that's just not good behavior. You know what I'm saying? It's not good, especially the people that have been good to you. Party so much better than me because when you go low, I'm going to hell. Oh, Jesus. And that's all I got to say about that. That is the word on the Streets News. I'm Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Thank you, Miss Shanika. Hey, man, I just want to know. What do men do when they lose relation, when they lose interest in a relationship? Because we know what women do. What do they do? Oh, shh. Women start. Women get short with you. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. They stop checking. They stop blowing your phone up. They don't question what women you're doing. Do both. Huh? Yeah. What do women do, and what do men do? Oh well, how about that? Let's make it. Y'all call us up one eight four four Y U N G J O C. We want to hear from you about this trending topic. Keep it locked. Young Jack in the streets. Morning, take over. You know. Yes, sir. You know it's an anonymous Thursday. Young Jock, Miss Shot, Nigga, Shot, Shot, with Young Jock in the streets. Morning, takeover. We going in this morning. We live right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Hey, but we talking about this trending topic right now because this is a very important thing. Some of y'all don't be getting the context clues. You know, we talk about blues clues. Mm-hmm. These be the real blues clues in relationships because when uh, when your person mm-hmm. loses interest, the whole dynamic changes. Everything in the relationship changes. The way y'all look at each other change. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the things y'all do at dinner changes. Because when you done lost interest, you don't even be like, you want to taste this? You just be like, mm, it's mine, whatever. So tell whatever. the people who we got sitting this, with us well, this morning. Okay, you tell them. You tell them, Michelle. All right, well, this yeah. morning, we have our very own Bella. Good hey. Morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Bella, Good morning. tell the people exactly what it is that you do. So I'm Bella Ray. I do afternoons on B96.5. So I'm on 2 to 7 every single day. So we have a party. Okay, so definitely make sure you paying attention and listening. All right. So we got to get some perspective this morning because I love when there's another lady in the room. Oh, <laughs> so God. yeah, you about to go down for real in real life. So okay. listen. Okay. You're a beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. You look like you have your way out here in the world. Hello? In these streets. <laughs> she said hello. <laughs> But what do women do when they lose uh, interest in a relationship? So here's the thing, because women, we break up in our heads before we even tell y'all. But we've already told you something like 10 million times. Okay, so by the time we get to 10 million and one, 
we like, okay, cool. Because there's somebody else that will do that. And I don't even got to tell them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we do. We stop the cooking for you. We oh. stop doing all the girlfriend and wife things because apparently you don't want us. The exactly. first thing you could, you'll could see it in is it's the intimate space. Yeah. That's where it, you, you will find the first part of that dismissal. And what happens? I mean, they just stop doing certain things. Like what? Mm. <laughs> the extra. <laughs> the extra. Because we don't want to. We don't want to. Because, after, again, after 10 million and one, we don't want to do that with you. You didn't turn us off, honey. So, what about men? What about guys? Like, Shawty, what, what do guys do when we lose interest in the relationship? Stop buying gifts. Stop coming home. You weren't buying the gifts in the first place. Exactly. What a man really does when he loses interest in the relationship is go find another chick. Well, it seemed like then, men. When well, it, it seemed like men start being um, colder to you. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, it's exactly. like it's like you're pent against each other, so everything uh, is a bad reaction, or you know, you getting on my nerves so much. I'm the opposite. What do you, you you show more love because you really know? <laughs> I'm gonna soften the blow when I walk away. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. You are narcissist. I mean, that's not narcissist. That yes, is, it is. That is called no, a it's severance not package. Mind game playing. So what do you be like? You so beautiful. You belong with somebody else. <laughs> Y'all I call brought us you this up. gift so you can wear it for somebody else. <laughs> yes. These shoes are made Easy for walking. Shoes. I'm going to get you these yeah, so you can walk on out the door. my life. <laughs> y'all call us up. We want to hear from y'all, man. Men, women, this is a co-ed conversation. What do you do when it comes to men and women when you lose rela- uh, interest in a relationship? Call us up. Let's talk about it. one 844 yungjoc That's one 844 <laughs> Four, five, <laughs> six, Get it out. Two. I'm going to bit my tongue off. Yeah, man. yeah, man. We back at it, man. Miss Shot Nigga, Shot Shot. I got to tell y'all, I love y'all, man. Y'all are the craziest bunch of people that I've ever met. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get a shit. What, what kind of shit? On the third. Okay. I know it. It makes sense. I, I kind of, as long as we've been friends, I, I always wanted to ask, but thank you for so sharing that. So when he stayed there, it, is it that way? Now, y'all see me running out of here on no the No wonder why on the third he was running to that mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to get into the trending topic. Y'all. Jack, I got the mail. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did the mailman run yet? Like, why he is running out to the mailbox? All right, so listen, we were talking about this. You know, what What do we do? What is the difference in the, the characteristics when between men and women when they lose interest in a relationship? And Miss Shanika, you said when you lose interest in a relationship, mm-hmm. what do you stop doing? Or what do you start doing? <laughs> <laughs> Your husband been listening now, don't, yeah. don't say <laughs> nothing crazy. Get yourself away now. Uh, next question. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about you, Shawty? Well, I'm going to tell I, him my secrets for I know, that's why I say it. I just, exactly. You just gotta, I love hard. I'm, I never leave him. <laughs> Shawty. I'm going to leave lie. This man, I'm telling the truth. Shawty, Shawty gonna go to jail. <laughs> that's his. Yeah, that's yeah. I leave you leave in the car. Shawty is sitting <laughs> in, the in the back, back of the, of the car. car. That's how I leave. He said, "This is usually how I leave." <laughs> I ain't want to leave. Well, I remember one time I walked away from a relationship. <laughs> I, I literally walked away. She drove right off on me. I was like, hey, "I'm like, please." I'm like, "Look, don't do this." She's like, "I hate you." I was like, "But I didn't even do nothing. You the one who was in the wrong." You talking about Carly? <laughs> On the episode, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can't get okay. from Mr. G's show. Uh, I felt like I was there. You kind of was, but okay. I, like I said earlier, I really do get nicer. Okay, because I believe in a proper dismount when you walk away from a relationship. Because you never know when you might have to spend a block, and it don't mean mm-hmm. spend a block to be back intimate again. You just never know. The person you break up with today could be your boss tomorrow. But you know what? That's definitely not going to happen. Uh-uh. Uh, not working for none of my exes. <laughs> that is automatic. Uh, you but know you're late, I do right? want to say that a proper leave is what you have to do. Especially, you know, you got a lot of churn from people. Whoa. So you can't just, uh, like, oh. leave your children and, and your ex, like, in a messed up situation. So I make sure that all the particulars are handled and ain't no messed up situations going on. And, and then I'm out. Not so me. so if but a man come home and you don't wash all his kids' clothes, that's the first sign. Oh, you never did that. 
love this. I just want to make sure y'all when I leave. Let's go, let's go to our listeners. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. We asking you, when it comes to men or women, what do you normally do when you begin to lose interest in your relationship? Yeah, I'm uh, Red calling from uh, Atlanta. Well, what I used to do before I was married for 23 years, I uh, would just focus on my business, my personal self, and then would move on to somebody else. That's it. Uh, my name is AJ. I'm calling from the south side. Atlanta. Um, it could be a number of three things. So I'm a cancer, so I could either ghost you, make myself real busy, or just start kind of being cold. Brandy from Stone Mountain. Um, I start doing everything. There's some of them callers. I need to talk to Kendra. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's time for the Young Jock Christmas Stacks. 1-844-YUNGJOC. I got $5,000 on the line for you, baby. You know what it is. 1-844-986-4562. Come on and get this money. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, 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 what's your name? Where you calling from? This teacher from the South Side. You are calling number nine. Yeah! Oh. Praying for this. She praying for it. And I'm at work. So what's the phone? <laughs> now that you're calling number nine, you've already won $100, and you will automatically register to win the grand prize of $5,000. That's right, Young Jock Christmas Stack is here for you to get. All you got to do now is wait and see if you're, that, if you're that winner, all right? Let the whole world know who just hooked you up with these Christmas Stacks. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Yeah. Nothing crazier than dating. It's time for the day dilemma. Only with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's the day dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Hey, this is Princess. How y'all doing? All right. Good morning. How are you? We're good. So I got a problem. I've been going on these dates with this guy named Hakeem, and you know, we go out on these fun little dates, and he takes me out to eat, and he's really sweet. Like, we have great conversation. I really enjoy being with him. But after our last date, I got nothing back from him, just static, like straight ghosting me. Oh, you mean like how we we ain't just getting nothing from you when we said how you doing and you just kept going? Like, I don't know what's going on, but we know about no text, again. no call, just after our date, nothing. So what kind of date did y'all go on? What did y'all go, you say? He took me out to eat. We go to all these different places. And like I said, the vibe is good. Conversation is good. So I'm not really understanding. Like, he knows I'm feeling him, so I don't mm. know what's going on. Wow. No call back? Nothing. All right, what's the dude name, baby girl? Hakeem. Hakeem. Hmm. All right, and you want us to call Hakeem to find out why he's been ghosting you and you want him, you want a, you want another date? Yes, Jock, I want another date. All right, we're going to try to get Hakeem on the phone. Don't say nothing, we'll cue you in with his time, okay? All right. Okay, hold on. Hello? Good morning, my speaker. Hakeem, please. Let's see, who this? Hakeem, what up, bro? What up, though? Who this? Hey, look, man, calm down, Hakeem, calm down. It's your favorite cousin, Young Jock. I got Miss Shawnika with me and Shawty Shawty with me. What up, my boy? All right, what up, though? What y'all hitting me up for? So, look, Hakeem, we got a morning show. Okay. We only just want to ask you a few questions, man, and let you go on about your life, if you don't mind talking to us this morning. All right, what's up? First question, are you currently dating someone? Uh, I was seeing a young lady, but uh, we don't kick it like we used to. Mm-hmm. Word? Mm. Yeah. So, what happened with you and Princess? Oh, this is about Princess? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you about Princess. Uh oh. I met Princess on social media. We went out on a few dates, been dating for a couple of months. And every time we go out, she ordered chicken wings. What? I'm talking about it, don't matter where we go. The first couple of dates, I thought it was like, all right, you know, she just like chicken wings. Cool. But then I was like, well, let me take her to some different spots. I took her to a sushi slash ramen spot. The waiter comes over. She like, yeah, I see the menu, but do y'all got chicken wings? What? <laughs> yes, have you checked her reading skills? She might not be able to read nothing on the menu, so she just chicken oh, wings is the go-to. Wow. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about chicken wings, but she gets real specific with it, too. Oh, what like, she? how she like them? She like them flat, extra wet, extra crisp. With the lemon pepper. Uh-huh. Wit, lemon pepper. She be like, wit. Wit. All right, so, so, okay. <laughs> and what she say, Haki? Wit. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't told her about this. You ain't said, you haven't mentioned this to her. I, I know you have. No, nah, I mean, like I said, at first, I thought she just didn't like the spots that I was taking her. Mm-hmm. So, 
I tried to expand her palate, you know. We went to a Mexican spot. She tried to order the same thing. I'm talking, they say tacos, 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 and she's trying to order wings. So what? So what's the problem with her ordering the wings, though? That's what she likes the to indulge is, in. It's too narrow-minded. I need a woman that's going to at least try some new things. Try Yo, you know what, man? Don't feel bad, bro. I, I kind of... I've gone through that before. I, I deal with that right now. Uh, anywhere we go, I don't care where it's at. If we, if we go to Baskin Robbins, she asking for salmon. I don't care. If we go to oh, McDonald's, wow. it's salmon. She, I mean, she's only only thing she wants is salmon. So I know what you're going through. But check this out. Old girl is on the phone. Uh, Her name is Princess. Don't do that. Chicken wing. I'm a straightforward person. And just because I can go to a restaurant and know exactly what it is that I want the moment I sit down, I don't see why that's such an issue for you. I like what I like. I'm from Atlanta. I like my flats, my extra wet, my crispy. And I'm not wasting your money or I'm not wasting your time because I know exactly what it is that I want when I go to these restaurants. But when we go to the different restaurants that don't got it, it's embarrassing as hell to mm. have you ask for wings when we had an Indian spot. You asking for wings when we had a, a sushi spot. You asking for wings when we had a taco spot. Like, that embarrasses me. Well, you the one who want to take me to all these different places that I never tried before, <laughs> and I appreciate that, but what's the point if I leave with something that I don't even like to eat? Princess, what's the problem with expanding your palate just a little bit? He ain't never bothered to ask me if I want to try these places. He usually just take me there. And I oh. get it, like, you the man you want to take care of all that stuff, but... If I get there and I look at that menu and it's nothing that I want, I should be free to order what it is that I'm comfortable with. Point taken, but if wings ain't on the menu, you you shouldn't be asking for wings, baby. I, you know. Like, y'all ain't got no wings better. That's what you say, yeah, person. No, I don't be asking it like that. <laughs> How you be asking something like that? How you be asking for your wings? I mean, just look it's okay. at the way It's okay, baby. Asking. It was a joke. They have some wings. Brody. Yeah. What is going to be, man? The lady, she don't sound like a bad person. She ain't got no attitude now time. And she a cheap date. It's right, man. She yeah, mean, I didn't even think about it for that. I did yeah. the first thing I thought about. I mean, I, I could rock with her, but she got to promise me one thing, though. Mm -mm. What? Not to order no damn wings when we go out. So, baby, can you go without chicken wings? I'm willing to try. I could ask the waiter if he has some recommendations. That is, oh, man. Right. On behalf of 1 800 Engine, the Bethune Law Firm, we got to hook y'all up with $100. To our listeners, man, uh, the phone's already ringing. I ain't even got to say it. Y'all keep it right here where you got it. Uh, that, uh, all jokes aside, though, who's, who's your favorite group member by the, uh, the group jacket is? Wingo? <laughs> Shut the front, though. <laughs> oh, Lord. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. The date dilemma was a spicy today, okay? You have to tune in every morning, Monday through Friday, to hear it on the best damn morning show. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Back at it, back at it. In your face with it, Young Jock. Miss Shanika, shout out, shout out. Okay, let's just get right into this date dilemma, man, because y'all, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, sometimes you just can't. You can't make people do what they don't want to do. If someone is stuck in their ways, it's just what it is. So Princess went on a couple of dates with Hakeem, mm -hmm. and she felt like they were doing just fine until Hakeem ghosted her. Said he met her on social media, took out on a several on several dates, no matter where they went. I don't care, Miss Shanique, if they was in a five star restaurant, Shawty wanted wings. Mm -hmm. She went to the Mex. They went to the Mexican restaurant. She wanted wings. Mm -hmm. Took us to sushi and top ramen. She wanted. What she want? Wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he want her to fly away. She talking about, y'all ain't got no wings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know what's so interesting? What? What that? Kendra's like that. You but really, she, but she man, won't let get me tell you wings. something. Nah, nah, nah. I just want to tell you something. You she won't really, get chicken wings. Nah, you really on sis head this morning. I don't like it. Hi. I love it. I don't, I don't I'm like telling it. the truth. Listen. Okay, well, be Kendra nice. will be like, Jaseel, do they have salmon? Like, yep, okay, that's what I want. You be like, you don't want to try this? Nope. You want to try this Branzino? Nope. Ooh. Would you like to try this halibut? Nope. I want salmon. All right. Yep. Common words, common sounds. Period. Yo, Jock in the Streets morning. Take over. What's your thoughts on this date dilemma? Good morning. This is for my That was funny. I understand where she's coming from because I got a friend that used to order just chicken strips everywhere she go. It don't matter. They could be tossing and sauce. Because everything not gonna taste the same, and you know you play it safe when you order stuff like a salad, wings, 
you know, you can't go too wrong with wings. But um, I'm glad they decided, you know, give it another go. And she, she's willing to try other things on the menu because, it, you know, she sounds like she's a, a pretty uppity girl. She don't sound like she's too, you know, good. That's from in there, Anna. But I'm glad they gave it another try. I mean, mm-hmm. it is what it is. I, You know, some people just going to be who they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But believe it or not, those sometimes people who are in their ways, they are some of the best people to deal with because you never have to guess. There's no guesswork involved. You oh. already know what it is. I mean, uh, she couldn't read and she was just winging it. I do know wings. Oh, I hear the birds are chirping. Miss Shot Nigga, what's your go to when you go out of here? Wait a minute. Who gave him a horn? Young two it too. Don't, 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 please. Miss Shot Nigga. Uh-huh. What's your go-to when you go out to eat? What's guaranteed? Miss Shot Nigga gonna eat off the... Uh... She's talking about Casamigos. <laughs> yeah, do. Oh, she gonna eat that new sandwich they named her. Uh, would you though. like an appetizer? Yeah, let me get a uh, patty the milk down. Patrol? Let me get that. You know. All right, we lit this morning. I ain't gonna even lie. I feel good. I feel so good mm-hmm. that I want to talk about something, Miss Shanika and Shawty. Mm-hmm. Come on, it's the top of the hour. We uh, broadcasting live, Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, we in the building. Uh huh. Let me ask you a question. You guys ever have a celebrity crush? Yes, I did. Before I was married, man, did man. Everything changed until he got married. He became a robot. Yes, I did I before I got married. She be, he became a puppet. You think Jamie so? Jamie just stick her head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hell for that one. So who's your celebrity crush? Who's your celebrity crush? Uh, I don't really. I don't have one. Did you? Did you ever have one? Um. Yeah, I think a lot of people are handsome. Oh <laughs> wow! Don't say that. I don't. Guy. I don't have a celebrity crush though. Okay, what about you, Charlotte? Who was your who was your celebrity crush before you got married? Probably Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Rihanna. But that big forehead. When I when I first met Rihanna, I didn't know what to say. I know, right? She walked up on me like a unicorn. I was like, "What is this? Is what she, this? One. She's amazingly beautiful. It's a different yes. kind of person. Tall, yes. Uh, radiant skin." She's a force. She was actually, um, she was actually like kind of hood. She was kind of cool in the hood. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I, was I was just trying. To no, fit. she's the coolest. I love yeah. Riri. I just wanted to fit up so, on her umbrella. I, I used to have a celebrity crush on Neil Long. Oh really? Uh, and then uh, I was out one night, and we were in New York, you and told me. she was right there with me, and I was like, "Wow, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. here's Neil Long." Mm-hmm. And we made eye contact. Mm-hmm. Come on, she fired up that cigarette. I was me. like, hell no. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I know somebody that used to date her, and that was the reason they stopped. Yeah, wow. I was like, wait a minute. Megan Good was the same way. Uh-huh. She's I was so like, oh, my God, man. Megan. And I'm not saying anything to, you know. Right. I mean, this is not shady. It's defame. the truth. Yeah, I'm not defaming this anyone. It's all alleged. Listen. <laughs> 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 so... Let me ask you a question. If Corey told you he had a celebrity crush, right? Corey now, does have a celebrity crush, and ooh. we see her all the time ooh. at my best friend Eva's house. Um, he has a crush on Kenya Moore, ooh. and Kenya knows it. And she knows it. Oh, so and they be kind of flirty, too. Bit. Would you ever give him a uh, hall pass? To just just go there. I mean, just. She can pay me. <laughs> what? Damn, pimp. Wow. Ribs. You're a pimp. Wait a minute. <laughs> Madam. What in the holy matrimony? <laughs> if Kendra told me she had a celebrity crush uh-huh. and she wanted a hall pass, yeah. I would let her. I would arrange it behind your back. She didn't got to. Shut up. No, I at least need you to do it. So, <laughs> you know, call us up. Anybody, <laughs> if you got a celebrity crush, would you get your person a hall pass? One eight four four Y U N G J O C. Call us up. <laughs> Keep it locked, y'all. Jogging the streets morning. Take over. What's up, y'all? It's Nevaeh representing Clark Atlanta University, class of 2024. Shout out my MMA students. And every morning when I get up, I listen to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. And I'm always Panther proud. Oh, yeah, we back at it. 
Miss Shot Nigga. Oh, yeah. You crazy this morning. What up, Shawty? You know what it is, man. We live. Boom. Mr. I don't do anything wrong. I try not to, man. I ain't mad. If you see me doing something wrong, please stop me. Oh, yeah. We must hold you accountable. Let me ask you yes. a question. Uh huh. You said you don't have a celebrity crush. Mm -mm. Miss Shot Nigga said she has several. Oh, wow. No, I did not. Oh, no. You I said you found any. you don't have any. You said you have, there are several handsome. Yeah, people, there are several. But you don't crush on them. No. Mm, but, but you said you all, would give Corey a hard pass. Celebrities ain't really me. Dang. Oh, we ain't. I could go to the Planet Fitness or the LA Fitness and go see somebody that look way better than they see. Wow. Like, okay. Well, that's, that's cute. Go for the common man. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it went, all that hyped yeah. up stuff. They ain't going to think she cheap. Girl, go ahead on me, Shanika. For real. What's my favorite word? Huh? What's my <laughs> Shut up. Sensationalized celebrities. <laughs> so we're gonna go to our callers because we wanna know would you give your significant other a hall pass to crush their celebrity crush? My of name course. is Lisa. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, you know it's Usher. <laughs> My name is Crystal and I'm calling from Georgia. Young Jock. I have three pictures of him, and I took one picture with him after having it in my phone. He was in Columbus, Georgia. This was a while ago. And then one day, we was in, I think, Covington at a quick trip. And I came out the bathroom, and I was like, hey, I know you. And I took a picture with him in the quick trip. I have given my man a hall pass without a celebrity crush. So if he has a celebrity crush, then yes, I would give him a hall pass. Wow. Chad Kendra go punch the radio. Yep. Kendra ain't tripping. She know I ain't, you know. She don't, She know you would. <laughs> she know I ain't, well, I ain't going what nowhere. She, what she know for sure? For sure. I ain't going nowhere. She did not. Hey, I'm watching. You, about, yeah. you be trying to snitch on me anything. I, no, I sure will. I could just open up IG and you be like, I'm telling Kendra. Like, mm -hmm. dang. I, yeah. That's the Explorer got. page. Yeah, you got 30 <laughs> seconds to look. 30 seconds. You know what? You got 30 seconds to call us up right now because guess what, man? Yeah. It's time for Young Jock Christmas Stacks. It's on the line. $5,000 could be yours, get man. It, it, call us up right now. Be call number nine to pick up this $100 and yeah, be automatically yeah, qualified for your opportunity to you win it, the grand prize. 1-844-YUNGJOC. That's 1-844-986-4562. Call us up right now. Chill. Let's see what we get this money. Yeah. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Good morning. Who is this? Hey, my name is Salisa. I'm calling from Fayetteville, North Carolina. All right. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. You calling number nine. Woo. I need this money. Yes. All right. Thank y'all. You already won $100, and you will automatically register to win the grand prize of $5,000. That's right, Young Jock Christmas Stack. All you got to do now is wait and see if you that call if you that winner, all right? Let the whole world know who just looked you up these Christmas stacks. Young Josh with the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah, we live. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. So we playing Are You Smarter Than Young Jock right now? And we are. And you think you have a contestant that uh smart enough to contest me? Yes. <laughs> and right here... In the studio, we're broadcasting live from Louisville, and we have their very own Bella Ray. Yes, can I get some? Yes, come on. Okay, so go ahead and reintroduce yourself to the people right So here. again, I'm Bella Ray, B E L L A R A E. Um, I'm on afternoons, so I do two to seven on B96.5 right yes. here in the city. Yeah. All right. All right. So we got to get into this. Here are the rules, Bella Ray. Oh, okay. You guys have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions. And you cannot answer the question after your 10 seconds is up. Or you're going to be disqualified, okay? Do I get to phone a friend? Nope. I just thought I would ask, you know. I, I, I had to make sure. I feel you. Okay, so we're going to start with you, Bella Ray. Okay. Mm. Oh, baby. I'm Louisville nervous. is home of the A, French fries, B, cheeseburger, or C, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Even though we're really the home of bourbon, but it was fried chicken. 
Is that your final That's answer? That's my final answer. The people say that that is not correct. What? I know my city. We are not home of no ding on cheeseburger. No, we are not. Mm. I'm not hearing that. I'm not hearing that. Who made these questions? Okay. Mr. Young Jack. <laughs> Louisville is the home of the A, French fries, B, cheeseburger, or C, fried chicken. I don't know, man. What are you looking for? I was looking for an answer. Yeah. You can't I'm, Google. I'm going I'm to say fried chicken. I mean, uh, cheeseburger. Because I don't believe that, but I should have said french fry. Yeah. Okay. Is your answer fried chicken or cheeseburger? <laughs> I'm going with cheeseburger. Probably should have said french fry. They said that you're correct. How? That's I what don't I know. Wanna know. All right, young Jack, this is for you. Yeah. What is the only number to have its letters in alphabetical order? Is it 40? Is it B5? Is it C0? Or is it D8? You said B5? Which one? I'm going with the second one. Wrong. <laughs> All right, Bella. Right. Oh yeah, because E comes out. Excuse me. In that word. Excuse me. Sorry. Do you? Okay. Should have said four. Bella Ray, what is the only number to have its letters in alphabetical order? Is it A forty, B five, C zero, or D eight? It's in numeral order. Alphabetical. Let's do two. Eight. eight. Yes. That's my final answer. That is incorrect. It was 40. The 40. answer is a 40. I knew it. I All knew right. it. It's okay. Bella it's Ray. Right, here we, we go. go. I tricked her, you. No, no, you didn't. Let's try to redeem you in your city. Okay. <laughs> I knew that one though because I think whoever wrote these is truly wrong and everybody on my live says it too. But. Okay. So, Bella Ray, what is Louisville also referred to? Is it A, the key to the South or is it B, Southern Hospitality or C, Gateway to the South or D, the Windy City? Ooh. Give me those one more time. Uh oh. Dang, I don't even get them one more time. Uh-uh. This is tough. Okay. You big. We're going to go mm-hmm. with Southern Hospitality. No. Dang. It ain't looking good for you, though. It ain't looking it's good. It's not good. looking good at all. All right. Young Jack. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What is Louisville also referred to? Is it A, the key, t- the key to the South? B, Southern Hospitality, C, Gateway to the South, or D, the Windy City? I'm going to go with C, Gateway to the South. You are correct. Give me some doubt, Bella. Thank Mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Young Jock, you can take the game. You better not. You better let me win. You better let me win. You can take the game. Or I'm calling them people. (laughs) (laughs) This ain't your city. Scammer jammer. (laughs) Calling all the scammers outside. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get into this. Young Jock. Yes. What 1997 movie features Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones as undercover secret agents who arrest police extraterrestrials? Yeah. Is it A, E.T.? Nope. B, Men in Black. Nope. C, Space Jam. Nope. Or D, Aliens versus Earth. This is a tough one, Bella. It is. I was seven when this movie came out, so I can't even. I'm going to have to phone a friend. What's the answer? Men in Black. All right, young jock. 
<laughs> you won. I had to look in the eye and be like, I'm sorry. Scammer jammer. <laughs> and let's get back to this, Bella, so you can sleep well tonight, okay? Louisville is the birthplace of the cheeseburger. A bronze plaque on the front wall of Kalen's restaurant claims it was the birthplace of the cheeseburger in 1934. Where's Kalen's Cafe at? <laughs> no better. It is. It was created in Louisville, Kentucky by Charles Kalen. Okay. Mm. I'm going to just turn my back. It is All what right. it is. Mm. It yeah, is what it is. I just wanted you to sleep well. No, I'm not Congratulations, well. Jack. You Thank know, you. usually I don't. But, Bella Ray, you got to do better for the city. What? <laughs> <laughs> These questions. These questions. These questions. Hey, man, y'all know it's lit, man. I can't even lie, man. Keep it locked right here where you got it, baby. More to come with y'all Jack in the streets morning takeover. <laughs> Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. What we eating for breakfast this morning? I don't know, <laughs> but it's got to be good. It's going to have to be. Well, yeah. hopefully, uh, Bella Ray is able to lead us in the right direction. <laughs> Bella, Bella mad I didn't let her have her way. She might <laughs> she, she might take us to somewhere whack just, just to get me back. <laughs> we actually going to be hanging out in the city all day, man, so... I want to just make sure we let them know where we're going to be at today, Miss Shanika. Because, All right. You know. So we're going to be at the Parkland Boys and Girls Club at 3200 Greenwood Avenue. And it's all going to kick off at noon. So make sure you come through. Any size coats will be accepted. So come on to the huge coat donation drive. Of course, Bella Ray will be broadcasting live from the event. So I can't wait. Can't wait to touch and see the city a little bit more last night. Definitely had a good time. Oh, I'm mad about it. At R and Bingo. I'm so mad about it. Incredible. Yeah. I'm mad because I, I wasn't there. Uh, y'all was sending me videos and pictures. Yes, I was we in were. my little feelings. I was jelly. Yes, you were. Oh, we finna get around today. Shout out to my boy D. Shout out to T Bell. Y'all know what it is. We in the city. That's right. And you know, I got some word on the streets news coming up. Do not miss it. British Williams gets an extension and Diddy, he going through some things. All right. All that and more coming up inside the word on the streets news. That's right. Keep it where you got it, baby. Young Jock in the streets more than take over. Hey. It's Young Jock in the streets more than take over with Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's get inside this old word on the streets news. Now, as you can remember, was it yesterday or today, Jock, that I showed you a picture of Nene Leaks? I was like, dang, Nene is looking good. Yeah, that was earlier. I, I'm trying to. It was to earlier out. this morning, right? Yes. Okay. Well, she's definitely looking good, and she's getting a lot of comments from social media saying, oh, what did she do? What did she do? Did she get work, surgery, all that? Well, here's what she had to say. Take a listen. So many people are reaching out to me about, uh, oh my gosh, Nene, you look great. You look amazing. You look this. You look that. Uh, We're going to age this thing backwards now. We <laughs> we definitely ain't trying to go forward, so we're going to definitely age this thing Backwards, sonny. That I'm gonna be fighting, baby. I'm gonna be fighting to the end. You hear me? <laughs> Say what you want. Okay, yeah, so she still didn't answer anything. But no, what I want to say is, I think Nene Lee's got the first face BBL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, baby, she look good. No, nah, K Michelle beat up to that point. Mm. But no, nah, K Michelle look when K Michelle did hers. Uh -huh. You all a face you, BBL. You didn't even recognize. They K get light skinned in everything. I'm like who is that girl? Who I know, that girl. Or whatever it is, I hope it translates into dollars it's, for her. It's that I think she got the thing where they. Pull the, they put the strings in your face. I don't face know what they did, but they did that. You know what I'm talking about? Do some research, uh -huh. Miss Shanika. All right. <laughs> like suspenders for the face. Mm -hmm. Shout it. I heard that. What you say, well, that you I will come over there research. and wipe off the top of your hairline. Oh, with my finger, you keep on playing me this morning. Now, let's just move right along and talk about Cash Doll. 
Mm-hmm. She recently just joined OnlyFans, and a lot of people had things to say, but here's what she had to say. Take a listen. Do y'all not know what OnlyFans is really for? OnlyFans is for things for only your fans to see. It is not just sexual. You know, I got paid a bankroll to join OnlyFans so that they can change the narrative of what OnlyFans is for. Mm. Yeah, man, I'm respecting her business moves, but the picture that was actually promoting the um, OnlyFans was very sexually suggestive. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate <laughs> so I'm that. just going to say that. I've never clicked on the OnlyFans, but I would hate to get a subscription and then you'd be BSing if I clicked on some sexual looking stuff. Uh, okay, well, hopefully people, her fans will go there and listen to her music. Now, the the person that I would have thought would have been all over OnlyFans is Jock. Mm. Jock, how come you haven't joined yet? Because I have a wife. Okay. If I was single, I'd be. So, but would you use it to release like exclusive content? Of course. I okay. Would, I would. I would release exclusive content uh-huh. in my exclusive birthday suits. Ew. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Match play. Ooh. <laughs> that naturally came out like. It's all okay. good. Ching, ching, ching. And lastly, British Williams. You may know her from reality television. She seems to um, have skated and she's going to be able to go to prison after Christmas so she can spend time with her daughter. All right. And Kai and I and Nicki Minaj were on live stream. If you guys want to check that out, go to Streets Morning Takeover on social media because Nicki looks like she is like losing it. I don't know what they was on, but they was on something that I ain't know. All right, that's the word on the streets news. It's all being brought to you by Bader Scott Accident Attorneys. If you are in a car accident, make sure you hit up my people at Bader Scott. That's what it is. The Love Doc Jock is coming up at the 05. Stick around. one 844 yungjoc for some good relationship advice. Keep it locked in. Jock in the streets morning time. It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. That's right. We back in it. Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah. What's up, Jerry? How you doing? Uh-oh. What's up, Q? How I'm, you doing? I'm doing fine. <laughs> we Damn, live, fine. man. We alive. Uh, broadcasting from Louisville. <laughs> yes, and, uh, we are. I think it's time for the Love Doc Jock. Somebody needs some good relationship advice. I don't. Not me. I'm perfect. Oh. So how are we doing this this morning, Miss Shanika? Because I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. This is your morning show. Hmm. This is your they, job. What the hell? They told me to come in here and talk to y'all. Okay, so oh. we... Uh-oh. So we got a guest. That's what we doing up in uh, here. Older gentleman. Uh, y'all, <laughs> y'all okay, yeah, we got an older, a light skinned zaddy. That's right. <laughs> they call him Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Silver with the fox. You better say the fox right. Yeah, that light skin okay. has got him by his whole life. His whole. <laughs> so let and me ask you a question. Hair. He been passing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I do get good babies, but go ahead. What do you need uh, advice on this morning, good brother? Well, I would like to know why these younger girls are not into sugar daddies mm. like oh. they were back in the day. What earth? What planets you been on? Because all of these girls no, I know, those, those are fake ones. I'm talking about the real. Okay, so but they okay. Are you saying that they don't want to give the sugar? They just they, want the money. Exactly. Because like <laughs> they don't pay like they used to. Yeah, no. they got sugar daddies like me. Only want to give four hundred dollars no. because what's happening is he broke. He broke one. So let me just give you some game. Yeah, here he was broke. He only I can't, the two. I can't even call you OG. I'm gonna call you Triple OG. He can't even pay attention. But go ahead. Okay, mm-hmm. so here's what's going on. Uh-huh. See, a lot of you, yeah. uh, older gentlemen, more established, more mature gentlemen, y'all like a little time. Y'all want a little touch, a little presence, you know. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these younger women are able to make ends meet without having to have any human contact because there are uh, platforms such as OnlyFans, and uh, you have like subscription-based apps where guys get a chance to just check in see what's going on, and they just pay their monthly subscription. And they're sugar daddies. And they would give up more money, but they don't 
necessarily have to because they're paying a monthly subscription to just watch and get no sugar. So I think that's why the actual in-person sugar daddy is dwindling. Well, 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 see, I got Big Bank on 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 weed in the weed category. I take care of that monthly, mm. monthly, monthly, monthly. Maybe if you put a th in monthly, yeah, your life will change because it's not monthly. <laughs> but I will say that I think, just to be honest with you, OG, I think that's what y'all going through, and that's the love of our job. Now, if you got a small business and you want to be spotlighted, I mean, was I spot on, Miss Shanika? I appreciate uh, it. I work with it. Thank you. Okay. If he like it, I live it. You like one eight four four Y U N G J O C. Call us up if you got a small like business. It. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Hey, look here, man. We got a small business spotlight. We got to do it right here, right now. Uh, yeah. But, but, but before but, 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 we do the small but, 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 business spotlight, face uh, ass. Uh-huh. All right, man. We got to shout out to our winners this morning for the Young Jock Christmas Stacks, man. Hey, look, y'all already know it's $5,000 on the line. We got two winners hit us up this morning. Uh, shouts out to Shalisa Anderson from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and Keisha Thomas from Fairman. Uh, y'all just picked up $100, so shouts out to y'all. Y'all been automatically qualified for your chance to win the big money of 5 k Now we got a small business spotlight, and we got to turn the mic over to my girl, Bella. So I want to give a major shout out to um, the TP Experience, okay? The TP Experience is also known for their fruit salsa with a P, okay? Ooh. Salsa with a P, okay? Mm-hmm. But also, you can check them out over at TP Experience. Dot com. A fruit salsa. Make sure you don't forget yeah, about FeedTheCityKY.com. FeedTheCityKY.com. Big shout out to uh, Reverend Coleman over there and Anissa over there. They definitely feed people each and every day throughout our community. So and what out. is your name, good sir? DJ Q. I'm in the building. I'm the program director here. And yes, you are. That's what's up. <laughs> lit. Lit, lit, wow. lit. <laughs> That's what's up. So y'all know how this go, man. Shouts out to the winners, man. And shouts out to those small businesses that y'all just shouted out. Yep. You know, we got to always give love back. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. A lot we- of times, it's, 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 it's interesting. You see commercials. Mm-hmm. and It overpowers the word of mouth sometimes. And sometimes we just got to just say, hey, forget all that. We're going to put the spotlight where it really needs to be. That's right. And we're going to take the spotlight off the fact that Bella could not represent the way she could. Did you hear the anger in her voice when she had started to talk? I'm still mad. <laughs> She's still, still mad. Some like type of way. Why, why, you, why you still? I need to redeem myself because she w- wasn't smarter than your job today. She only got. one But I know she's smarter wrong. than you, though. Know, Thank you. It's it's Thank that you. part How for me. You know, Shani. Oh, because we hung yeah, out all day. But she lost the contest, Bella. I ain't saying against you, but yes, she was. We can go up against you next. What's up? Well, <laughs> I was well. Saying. I would well, take you out faster than just. Well, <laughs> I'm an intellect in a world of intellect. Well, I like my out there on the street. All right, so look. <laughs> Twin, you know what? In Atlanta, you can cut them crickets out. Let's go. <laughs> that might be smoking <laughs> beer. Right Definitely smoking beer. Oh, yeah, you know what it is, man. It's been a pleasure taking over your airways. Your favorite cousin checking in. Young JLC, Miss Shanika, shout it, shout it. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say shouts out to mm-hmm. Bella. Yes, mm-hmm. Bella Ray. Thank you so much. Also, thank you to DJ Q. Yeah, the man. Everybody PD here in Louisville. Man, it's it's been a real good time. And we are going to have an even more fun time later on today. Oh, yeah. We're going to be moving around all over, man. We're doing some good things, some toy drives and stuff like that. Man, we're going to be at the Parkland Boys and Girls Club. Collecting go coats. The coat drive. Um, also, I got to shout out our winners because tomorrow mm-hmm. is actually the last day to register uh, for our grand prize for the Young Jock Christmas Stacks. You know what I'm saying? $5,000 on the line. So, again, let me shout out today's winners, man. Shout out to Shalissa Anderson. Yep. Or Shalisa Anderson from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And Keisha Thomas from Fairburn, Georgia. Uh, they picked up $100, and they've been automatically qualified to pick up the $5,000 grand prize. So, you know what I'm saying? Kudos to y'all, man. Like I said, we lit. We still in Louisville today. What up, Shalom? You know what it is, man. We're going to hit the streets of Louisville and uh, kick it with the people. I want to tell everybody to come out, shake hands. We shake hands, kiss the babies and meeting the fans. 
That's right. And you can bring any size coat, you know what I'm saying, to donate for this uh, coat drive, man, because it is cold. That's right. And it's going to kick off at noon. So can't wait to see you today at the Parklands Boys and Girls Club located at 3200 Greenwood Avenue. That is. So in the meantime, in between time, if you see me in the street, Holla at me because you know you know. Mm-hmm. What up, Shani? All right. Also, want to say a big, big shout out to you. Give them good on a plate. Feed the city. That's what's up, man. Shouts out to them. Shouts out to you, Miss Shanika. Your outfit was amazing today. It's still, and it will be, and you guys can pull up on us and holler at me. You're a bit overdressed at, you know, this yeah. time in the morning, but you're fresh. You're clean. I love it. I'm a bit overdressed. Yeah. Darling, I'm you saying. can never be overdressed. You look yeah. like you got You can feel like never. With them little bit of heels on. I did Y'all not. Short high heels. Okay. Them are not kidding heels. They are. It, it look like them. Let me see. No, nah, she's straight. She, she, you fly. You fly. Aww. I already gave you your flowers this morning. Okay. Everybody don't need big clunky heels. Okay. They said we love y'all. We'll catch y'all. Tomorrow. <laughs> Keep it right here I when you got the it. Trend. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the streets morning takeover.